Hi, it's Phil from TeachBlend, and in this video, we're going to have a look at Microsoft Teams' new feature, which is content from camera. Now, this allows you to capture automatically whiteboards, documents, and other video demonstrations inside a Teams meeting using your camera. It will automatically detect a whiteboard, for example, or a document, sort out the aspect ratios, and that will then display that to learners or participants of the Teams meeting. This was brilliant, for example, in hybrid learning scenarios where you might be presenting to some students in a class and then some at home. And it will overlay you so that students can even see the text, even if you stand in the front. We'll have a look at all three options and I do hope you find it useful. So here we are in a regular Microsoft Teams meeting. I'm going to choose the share button and you'll notice a new option that says content from camera. So we're going to select content from camera and this will use our webcam. You'll have three options. The whiteboard, which displays a whiteboard, documents which are fantastic for printed documents and video for demonstrations. Let's use whiteboard first. Here, once you see this, you'll be given like a little intro and you choose got it. And what it'll do is it'll use your webcam to detect a whiteboard. Here you can see I've now detected that whiteboard and it will zoom it in and sort it out for you. You can then choose to overlay or don't overlay the presenter. You can always change this when you're presenting, but overlaying the presenter means that you can see the text kind of behind. When you click share now, what will happen when you are presenting, you'll see that you can present your whiteboard and it automatically sorts everything out for you so that students or participants can really see your physical whiteboard inside of your session when you're presenting on Teams. And this is fantastic for hybrid learning environments. Again, as you can see here, I'm choosing on the fly either to don't overlay the presenter or overlay. And you'll see here the slight difference if I overlay the presenter. And I've just slowed that down so that you can see how that looks if, for example, I wanted to show myself. You can choose snapshot as well. And that's brilliant because what that means is it'll take a photograph of the physical whiteboard and drop that into chat for you. So this is really good for like references. If you can look at settings, this will allow you to go back in and from here you can change the content type or the different camera so you could flick to different whiteboards or back to yourself for example. In content type, this is where you can change either video or document and if you turn don't detect edges on, that will actually just display it regularly. So this is useful if for example you're just wanting to present a whiteboard that's far away or it won't detect the edges very well. I'm just going to click close now and we'll have a look at a few of the other options. So I'm going to go share and I'm going to go content from camera and I'll show you document now because this works slightly differently and it's a really good feature. So with document, again, you can just change this from content type and you'll see here I've got a document, just a plain piece of paper and I can actually scan this to scan in and it'll detect that document and zoom it in for me so that it will then show to presenters and to the participants really nicely. Again, you can change this at any type to the different ones. I'll keep it on document and then what I'll do is I'll click share. So remember how it did look to what it looks now. It sorts it all out for you. So this is fantastic if you were going to annotate a diagram, if you're going to show some math skills or even some artwork to students or your participants. Again, you can choose overlay presenter as well. So it'll look at your hand, for example, and present over that. And again, you can also do the snapshots and go back into settings as normal. So we'll go back into settings now and I'll show you a few other options. Um, so what we'll do is I'll just make sure that we've got video on this time. And this is fantastic if you're demonstrating like a, a science experiment or a piece of technology or whatever what it'll do is it'll just highlight key elements for you and bring out the text so it's just a nice way of presenting video again with all of these you can rotate as well so this is really good because let's say for example you're actually participating in showing an exam paper and your camera's the other way around as you can see here what I can do is I can flip this around or the documents around so that students can actually see it properly while you are writing so you can just actually change the dimensions i hope you found this video useful and if you did please remember to like and subscribe to teach blend it really does help